Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to create structural members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this particular video, we'll be focusing on using the spreadsheets to create and manipulate model geometry, which will include navigating or accessing the available spreadsheets in the physical modeler, using the spreadsheets to create model geometry, including nodes and members, and also using the spreadsheet tools to edit or manipulate model geometry. So let's go ahead and begin our discussion with understanding the spreadsheets in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Parameters for model objects will be displayed in tabular format in the spreadsheet area, which is located at the right-hand side of your screen. There are a variety of different spreadsheets available through the STAD Pro Physical Modeler for you to both create model geometry and then assign properties or loads to that information. To access the different spreadsheets through the program, you will go up to your ribbon toolbar and select the spreadsheet tab. All of the available spreadsheets in the program will be displayed in this area and the one that's currently active will be in a darker gray color. Here you can see that I have the nodes spreadsheet currently selected and I will be using this spreadsheet and also the members spreadsheet throughout this video. Let's go ahead and start with the nodes spreadsheet. Now the nodes table will list the node numbers and their coordinate values. This table can be used to define new nodes or edit existing nodal coordinates. As you can see, each node will be represented or defined using its X, Y, and Z global coordinate values. And as a reminder, the Y axis is your vertical axis in STAD Pro. So let's go ahead and use this table to create the first five nodes in our particular model. Here I'm going to start with node number one, and I'm going to enter its coordinate values as 0, 0, 0, and just hit enter. Now, as you can see, that the program will automatically assign the node number to my nodes in sequential order. Let's go ahead and move on to node number two. Now that I've entered my first two nodes, let's also take a look at the units that will be associated with this particular model. When I created this model, I told the program I wanted to work in the English unit system, and by default, my length unit will be set as feet. Now, if I'd like to enter my nodal coordinate values using inches instead of feet, I can go ahead and globally change the units if I wanted to. To do that, I can click on the Data tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the Options icon. Now, within the Options dialog, this first tab represents the units. And here you can see that I could change to a different unit system if I wanted to. And I can switch between English and metric units as well. Within each of these fields, you're also going to be able to see the standard abbreviation that's used for each type of unit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave my length unit set to feet, but I've still decided that for this next node, I would like to enter it in inches. So I'm going to enter 144. This represents inches, so I'm going to go ahead and use that standard abbreviation for inches and then hit enter. As you can see, the program will automatically convert it to the current unit system, which is represented in feet. Now, the program does allow you to enter the standard unit abbreviations through a variety of spreadsheets and also through a variety of dialogues. So let's go ahead and continue to enter the coordinate values for my first five nodes in this model. Now currently I do have my node numbers turned on in my interface. To turn on any different value that you want to see on your screen, we can go to the View tab of the Ribbon Toolbar and you can see that my numbering is currently turned on. Let's go ahead and proceed on and take a look at the Members table. So let's go ahead and select the Spreadsheet tab of the Ribbon Toolbar and then click on the Members icon. 
Now the members table will list the members and their incidences along with member properties, materials, and member lengths. This table can be used to add new or edit existing members. As you can see, each member will be defined by its starting node or node A, and also by its ending node, which will be node B. So let's go ahead and create our first four members. Member number one is gonna go from node one to node two. And you can see automatically that the program assigned a member number to that member I just created. Then I'm gonna go from node two to node three. Node three to node four, and then also node four to node five. Now that we've started modeling some of our members in the StatPro Physical Modeler, I want to draw your attention to this column member. Now in the StatPro Physical Modeler, members can be modeled as they will be physically constructed. When the model is passed to the StatPro Analytical Modeler, the members will be automatically segmented in preparation for analysis and design. So therefore, it wasn't necessary in the physical modeler to segment this column or break this column where another member is intersecting it. The program will automatically be able to break it down into its analytical components before the analysis and design is performed. Now that we've gone over how to enter information directly into the spreadsheets in the StatPro Physical Modeler, it's equally as important to understand how to modify or edit this data once it's in there. So that being said, let's go back to the nodes table, and then let's select the data tab in the ribbon toolbar. Now within the data tab of the ribbon toolbar, I have several different types of tools that will help me both manipulate, modify, and create new data within the spreadsheets in the Stad Pro Physical Modeler. So let's take a look at a few of these tools and how they might work. First, let's take a look at the value and operator fields. These would be used to perform mathematical operations on the current cell value or to evaluate a new value. The mathematical operators can be used to calculate values for the current spreadsheet cell. So let's say, for example, I want to move a particular node, say, in the y direction, and maybe I want to move it a total of two feet. Let's go to the data tab of the ribbon toolbar. I'm going to enter a value here of two, and we can go ahead and say add. It'll go ahead and add that information there, and you can see it moved that nodal coordinate. Now, in addition to that, we also have several different types of fill information over here. So let's say I want to move the entire structure in the Z direction by say five feet. So I can see the effect of this. Let's go ahead and switch to an isometric view. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the new value for the first selected node. I'm gonna go ahead and enter five there. You can see that the node was moved, which does have a stretching effect on your model. Let's go back and highlight the cell we just modified. Again, in the data tab and the ribbon toolbar, I have two different options. The first one is a fill column option. This will copy the current cell value to all of the cells within that column. So I want everything to be copied. So I'm gonna go ahead and say full fill column, and you can see it filled that value there. Now let's say, for example, I wanna move these nodes for what's going to eventually represent my bottom chord. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those two values. Those are nodes four and node five. Let's say I wanna move those in the Y direction. Say, we'll move them down by two feet. So they're gonna go down to 10. So I'm gonna enter the new value and then go back to the cell that I just edited. Again, back in the data tab of the ribbon toolbar, I can use this fill selection option. So let's go ahead and say fill selection and you can see that it went ahead and copied the value that I had highlighted to all of the currently selected nodes within that field. Now at this point, this concludes our process for creating and editing model geometry by using the spreadsheets within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.